Okay, so let's draw an area model to find two and four tenths divided by eight tenths. So the first thing I need to do is start with my dividend, which is two and four tenths. So let's do that. We have one hole. There's my second hole, and then I have one, two, three, four tenths. All right, I'm going to start off with that being yellow, and then I'm going to use the different colors to show um, how many groups I will have of eight tenths. So let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those are tenths. Okay, let's change colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then my last color will be yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many groups do I have? Three. Okay, so two and four tenths divided by eight tenths is three. Okay, so on this one, let's draw an area model to find three tenths divided by five hundredths. Now remember, the hundredths are these little unit cubes. The last question had the tenths, okay, which was the full um, rod here. So first we need to start with our dividend, okay, which is three tenths. Okay, I have that represented in yellow. Let's divide the three tenths by how many groups of five hundredths. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to leave the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to change it to red. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to blue. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count out the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. And then the red will be my last group. One, two, three, four, five hundredths. So now we just need to count how many groups that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six groups okay, of the five hundredths. Let's see if we're right. Very good.